today I'm doing this treasure chest here. Um, I'm working on a faux finish. I'm trying to make it look like aged wood. Um, in the when you open up the treasure chest, I have it painted gold, which is really cool. Um, and so I faux finished the front, but in this video I'm going to be faux finishing the sides. This chest using some colors here. Um, so I just took off some extra tape that I um, was using and honestly I kind of saved my tape. I put it up here on this little, it's a paint rack but I don't really store my paint on this so I just kind of stick my um, tape up there and I can use it later on. I can use it again several times. So so the first thing that I'm going to be doing is um, getting some paint. I'm using the Delta Creative um, acrylic paint. It's a craft paint in burnt umber. So I'm going to be putting some of that on my palette. And then I also have some Deco Art Metallics. And then I have over here my brush, which is just kind of an old craft brush. Um, and then I have one of these um, cotton rags that you can buy in the painting section at Home Depot or Lowe's. So the first thing that I'm going to do is go into my burnt umber. And my water is dirty. It's kind of a dirty black. So um, so I have a little bit of watery black mixed in with this burnt umber. So what I'm going to do is... Um, go over to my cracks and just um, kind of staggering them and just kind of um, pushing the paint into these cracks here and I'm kind of using the paint a little bit full strength it's not too watery and I'm not really in a rush to wipe it off yet Okay, so now I'm going to go over it with my rag and I'm just going to kind of wipe it kind of randomly. So if I step back a little bit, you can see it kind of gave it um, an uneven kind of texture on the top. So I'm going to do that again. And what I really am trying to do is give it kind of like a aged wood look. Um, if I feel like I it's too dark in a spot, I can get my brush wet and kind of scrub it out. So that's the beginning of that. Um, we still have a lot more to do. So I'm going to add some more paint to my palette and again this is just burnt umber with a little bit of dirty water from my watering bin. I come over here and I'm going to kind of do the same thing just kind of random I'm going to take my rag, just kind of wipe it out a little bit. There we go. I'm going to add some more up here. Okay, and then I kind of just step back and see, okay, did I add enough? Mmm, no. So what I'm going to do is go in with some straight color um, and I'm just going to again push it kind of unevenly into the cracks. I'm going to wipe it. These knobs right here, these little knobs, I'm just going to go over them with straight paint. And I'm going to wipe it out. 
We might lift it a little bit with some water. Over here, I'm going to do this. And I'm going to kind of rub it in here. Go along the side of the strap. Again, if it leaves kind of like a little mark, you can get your brush wet and kind of take that mark away. I don't mind the brown going over the strap. It makes the strap look dirty and more aged. I'm gonna do some more aging on this side. I'm just kind of randomly scrubbing it in on places. Okay, so there we go with that side. Um, I'm going to come back and, and do it with black, but I'm going to move on to this side. So here you can see where I added the black to it, but I'm going to wait for that to dry because we just did the full finishing with the brown. And then I'm actually going to take my tape, save it over here. I know it's kind of weird, but it works. Um, and I'm going to dip into this. Now here I don't have cracks to kind of shove the paint in, so I'm just gonna kind of make it look like like full finish some cracks in there. I'm gonna add a water to this. I'm gonna make it a little bit more watery. Now, I don't want to do too much brown because I don't want to lose all the light I have. Back in with the black, but I am going to take some brown and go around these handles. Kind of antique around the handles here. And again, I'm just kind of like scrubbing it in, letting it sit for a second. I'm going to try to wipe it out. I'm going to take my rag and just kind of go in one direction. All right, so that's fine for right now because I'm going to go back in with a darker color, but and then I'm also going to do some full finishing on the locks here. So let's do the other side. Here we go into the brown. Um, I'm going to dip some water into my brush, make it a little bit watery. I can just start going around the locks. Um, I'm going to just slightly sweepy scrubby motions. Okay. Um, it's kind of like a glaze, but just doing it with water. I'm going to go around here. And then I'm going to kind of like sweep it up this way. And go a little darker. And then again, I don't want to lose too much of the lighter color because that's what kind of gives it the dimension. I don't want to make it all the front. We've got some aging with black. So that's what we're going to do now. I have uh, folk art licorice black here. And I'm just going to take the lid off and put some on my palette. Okay, so I have some here on my palette. Right there. And I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to get my brush wet. It's kind of a little drippy. The water's dirty. It's a little drippy. I'm going to make a wash of a black. You probably don't want to do straight black. Make a wash of it. And then I'm going to do the same thing as I did with the brown. I'm going in, kind of shoving it in the cracks. You can kind of see, or there's really no rhyme or reason to it. Just kind of sticking it in there. 
And then I'm going to take my rag, wipe it out. It's, it's really uneven, but that's kind of what I want it to look like. Like it's been sitting on the bottom of the ocean for a while. Um, let's see. So that is too strong of a black. So i got to water that down. And it looks scary the way that I'm putting this straight black right in there. But it works. It'll work. It's dripping, but it's fine. And come back and just lightly wipe it out. We want it to stain. We want it to look, um, you know, we want it to look aged. And we don't want to go too crazy with the black. So I like the way this looks. I'm gonna stop. Oops. Same thing with the black. I'm gonna just ch -ch 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 with my brush. I'm going to wipe it out, kind of go around the locks, and it's really cool to get black stuck in there because then it really looks dirty. Um, if you feel like the black's dry too fast, like right here, get it wet again. I don't want to do any more with that. That is my treasure box. Thanks for watching.